Another rainy day, and we're almost in the middle of May. The temperatures aren't much better, and it makes you wonder, are we living in the world of desperation? Is food going to become a shortage? Flooding in Oklahoma, fires, all of these things, it puts so much into perspective. On my little homestead, this year so far has been a challenging year. The greenhouse is just waiting for things to be planted. It's just too cold. Countless rain, 40 degree weather, doesn't make much for a good growing season. In my kitchen, well, it's too cold to do any work outside and it's too rainy. And I'm working on some chicken that I got for 29 chicken, cents a pound. 29 cents a pound. They have a sale one time a year. I canned the broth and this chicken I'm going to freeze. I'm sitting here with the warmest sweatshirt that I own. In the middle of May, can you imagine that? But today's Heart to Heart is going to be a question. I love the collectiveness of the community, and I love when people share their thoughts and their opinions on things. Everybody lives in a different community. Everybody lives in a different state. Things are different all around the world. You know, the United States was often called the land of milk and honey. There was always abundance of everything. Even in the Great Depression, when things were bad, you still could survive, compared to other countries, of course. But my question to you is, are we living in a desperate age? Are we living in a desperate time? And the reason why I ask you these things is because I had a conversation with a worker from the Dollar Tree. As you know, I go to the Dollar Tree simply because when you have five dollars and you need five things the Dollar Tree is the only place to go basically of course you can find some things that are cheaper if you drive around and shop around but then you're adding the cost of your gasoline then it's not really five dollars anymore is it I try to find the cheapest price of everything and you all tell me I do very well But the worker at the Dollar Tree told me something that was very striking. She said, you know, we can't even keep the food on the shelves. She said, we are stocking the shelves every single day, all day long, just to keep the food on the shelves. Yes, people like to buy the trinkets. You know the videos of the Dollar Tree hauls. But in reality, in stark reality is... A lot of people are buying their food there because they don't have any money for anywhere else. The Dollar Trees are usually located in town where people can walk. And you will see a steady stream of people walking back and forth to the Dollar Tree and back to their homes. Are we living in desperate times? There are so many things that are happening in our world. There's rumors of wars and wars always price gouging and price inflation. All of these things are happening. A lot of us, it's happening right under our noses and we don't understand it. Just about every one of my videos has to do with food in one way or another. I don't just do these videos for YouTube. This is how I prepare for my family. Now, I'm not one of them alarmists and every title on their channel, you will see all of these words that are words that seem to get a lot of views. You know the words, the negative ones, the ones about the, our economy and the ones about the end of the world or the end times, the apocalypse. These words get a lot of views because that's always a fear in people's minds and it's something people are really interested in. But more, I like to ask you questions. I like to learn. I've been the kind of person who likes to learn. And how better to learn than by having all of your input? Well, I don't believe that the end of the world is here and now. 
I mean, I don't believe we're going to have an eminent collapse. We are living on borrowed time. You can only live so long with so many debts in life before it catches up with you. And no one is exempt from that. So what are we supposed to do? I think it's a really sad state of affairs, the people that are going to the Dollar Tree just to get one meal at a time. Yesterday, I saw someone who they went with $3 and got enough to make a meal for that day. I couldn't help but think, what would you do tomorrow if the Dollar Tree wasn't here? What would you do? Maybe I'm a little bit eccentric, and I am a little odd. I've been told that many times, but am I maybe a little more prudent than some? Or maybe I just realized there might be something happening that is something that will come suddenly, quickly. But you know what? The writing has been on the wall a long time. This isn't something that is facing us now out of the blue. 90% of the people you ask if you say, do you think something bad could happen to the United States? Of course they could, of course it will. But only 10 to 20% are doing anything about it. That's where I come in because I don't know a whole lot about life, and I'm the first one to tell you that. I don't know about the latest styles and the latest fashion. I don't know about any of these things. I know how to cook food. Maybe it's not quite to your specification, but I know how to cook it. And I know how to find things cheap. I know not everybody has the discount grocery store, and I'm really blessed because, to be honest with you, if I didn't have it, I wouldn't be able to put up quite as much food as what I do. But you know, every little penny I save, we save our change, we collect it, and when we have a bunch of it, we take it in, and guess where do we go with it? To the discount grocery store, to buy food that we can store. Somebody said one time, Tessie, you're wasting your life away, just sitting here working on food, and the hot summer sun, you're out working while people are leisurely sitting and watching their TV shows and sipping their cold iced tea in their air-conditioned house. I say, hey, there's a lot worse things that I could be spending my time on. I think it's really important to teach my grandchildren as much as I can about this way of living. Because although I like to live forever, and I really want to live to be 100 years old, I will not outlive my grandchildren. And they need to know these things because when I'm here, I can help, but when I'm gone, I don't know what the future will lie for them. But it's not depressing future. It's a, it's a future of great excitement and challenges and journeys. So while I'm working on this chicken, while other people may be having fun going to the movies or going out to eat, I don't mind it at all. In fact, I find great satisfaction in preserving food. I'm the most comfortable when I talk about these things. I'm the most comfortable because this is how I live every single day. I find it really hard to talk about things that I don't know about. I find it hard to talk about things like news events because I really don't watch them. And people would notice if I would just start talking about high trending topics and have no clue what I'm talking about. But I can talk about this and I will talk about this more. It's not just food, even though food and water is really vital and important. It's other things as well. We need to be studied and learn things. You know, there's a lot of things in life that we can have in our own hands. There's a lot of things that we can't control. I know about that. But there's a lot of things that we can control. We can learn about ailments and things in our life. My husband faced something the last six weeks. He took a lot of time and research and knowledge. And for a big part, he used holistic healing. He used herbs and things like that. And it made a huge difference. These things we can learn. Maybe food is not your thing, stocking up on food and things like that. But you know, 
taking a proactive part in your life, no matter what it is, can only benefit you and help you and enrich your life. I want to encourage you. Of course, my channel is about getting food cheap and stocking up on it and using it and enjoying it and learning the old ways of living. But I hope you get out of my channel inspiration, not depression. Not a forceful way of saying, you better do this or you better do that, but more of a encouraging, urging to you to press on. <laughs> Whether it's 29 cents chicken or having a little balcony garden, these are the things that bring great satisfaction in our life. You know, we were created to have a purpose. It doesn't matter what your purpose is. Do it. Enjoy it. Life is short. Live it in the moment. Even if it is 29 cents chicken. <laughs> Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And let me know in the comments below. Are we living in the age of desperation? Or maybe you think we are living great these days. Maybe you think that we are actually not in any depression or oppression. Let me know in the comments below. Every comment is welcomed as long as you have respect for one another. Take care, everyone. See you guys tomorrow. Mm, I'm going to enjoy some of this chicken. Yum, yum.